Hey guys, welcome to uh, week two of the Indie Taste Test, um, where we, you know, try out an indie game, and I tell you how it tastes. Um, this week I wanted to kind of focus on a cool event I thought was going on in the Not On Steam sale, um, and I was most interested in Drifter. I don't know why. Um, the game was kickstarted in the summer of 2012, and ever since, um, it's been in like early beta development. Um, so I'm like super curious. So I wanted to buy into Alpha because I'm like, man, will this game ever get made? Because it's already been a year, and they're on beta 0.3, which seems super early in a game's development. Now, Drifter is like a space drifter game. Um, the way it's advertised is you can be a pirate or a, uh, you can complete missions, you can mine asteroids. Um, I haven't encountered anything but a little bit of combat and some, uh, some planets, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this game. I have no idea. So I'm gonna try flying somewhere real quick. The game looks pretty good. I mean, overall. I'm trying to remember. Okay, uh, hit Z to activate your slipstream, I guess. To travel super fast. But you can only do that so much, because you need more ore to travel. But I'm still not sure why you travel. Maybe I just haven't encountered missions yet, but so far it just feels like a big open galaxy. Now some of the stuff that's advertised is really cool, like, hey yo, you get like tons of stuff in this galaxy because, like, it's huge. Um, apparently it's massive. It's like its own solar system and it's fully developed in that it's a solar system. But I don't even know if that's like fully true yet. Um, that may just be the ambition for the game. There's also no reverse thrusters on your ship, which really aggravates the crap out of me. Um, so see, I can destroy an asteroid, grab some ore, I guess, if I can control this darn ship. Um, so it's like available for PC and I guess iOS. It's, it's available for now, I'm not sure if the PC port just began, and that's why it's in such early beta, um, but that's super possible. Don't ask me. I don't know these things. What am I? An authority on this kind of stuff? God. You guys need to go be more independent. And, uh, you know, stop relying on me to figure out what molded Dinium or st stands for. Um, so I don't know. I guess I can. I guess I can try to find a planet to go near. Guess that would be okay. So like, let's see how long it takes to fly to this moon. I think that's what that is. So it seems like it's gonna take forever. Oh, and there's something else there. It looks like a ship. I'm gonna shoot it down. Or try. See? Okay, some space combat going on. See, now, that's pretty cool. I kinda always wanted a good space combat thing. But, like, I'm not sure how well it works. Did you see me win that game of chicken? I'm kinda hoping it destroys me. I'm kind of laying in there. strong shields. And I'm dead. Oh, you see I ejected a little pod out there. So now I get to fly around in this pod. So if you click stuff, I guess it tells you how far you are from that stuff. But like, here's the thing, guys. I don't know what to do. Um... Like, if I go to the station, which it does exist, 
Um, maybe they'd give me missions? But I don't know. And uh, that's the problem is like I can't find a legitimate like quality tutorial on this. Um, but it, yeah. man, it's super interesting. Like I think there's tons of potential here. I mean, there's no, there's no 3D movement. It's pretty much 2.5D. You know, you can move forward, left, right in a 3D world, but you can't go up and down. Which I guess, you know, I guess that's 2D movement, right? By the metrics of Flatland. Um, but yeah, beyond all that, like, I don't know. I can't. F I can't figure out why the game... The game was funded for $80,000. Um, and it, was, it had a goal of like 55000 That seems like a boat low for this. So there must be something deeper to it. And I'm... You know, I kind of want to figure it out. I kind of want to give you guys more... Um, of an idea what's going on. Um... This one super intrigued me, so figured I'd try it with you guys. Um, but it takes so long to get everywhere if you're not like using up your uh, your ore and stuff. As you can tell, I've been flying for a while, and I'm nowhere near that station. Um, super pretty game. I think it's a game with an immense amount of potential. Like if they give you good quality quests to do, but so far it just seems like it's a big open world that you kinda go and you mine and you I've heard talks about shipbuilding and stuff like that but none of it's in the game yet keep in mind this game got funded a year ago I don't know I guess one person's working on it so you know it's kinda forgivable I suppose when you're when you think about it as you can tell I'm toggling through targets and there's two ships around me. And they both look different. See, a shipbuilding element would be really cool. Like, potentially crafting some good ships. And um, that's stuff I, I would like to see. Um, but apparently this is made in the spirit of some other games that I, I haven't played. I've never played this genre. Like, this kind of space drifter genre. Um, but... You know, it seems like it could potentially have value. I mean, out of all the games available, I picked this one up. Probably because it looked the most unique out of any of them. Um, but so far, nothing. You know, just some just some space exploration. Real simple stuff. Um, but okay, guys. I mean, <laughs> I, I apologize for a relatively uneventful indie taste test um god I just you know limited funds and you pick something all up randomly off of uh, a sale and you just give it a shot and you see what happens sometimes and I'm not sure what happened okay so if I had to give it a rating I would say it tastes undercooked. Um, reason being is that it's in beta, which probably means I went over to the grill and picked the steak right off of the grill. And some guy with me was like, hey dude, like the steaks ain't done yet, brah. And I was like, I just want some meat, so hand it to me right now. And he was like, I'll give you some meat. So I, I left that barbecue. I called the cops. I don't like talking about it. But hey, that's been uh, this week's Indie Taste Test. You can come back next week where hopefully I'll have something a little bit more developed. Although that's just spaceship shooting, but it was pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I, uh, if you have any submissions you wanna you wanna give me, uh, any 
Anything you are interested in showing off on Indie Taste Test? Hopefully something I can talk a bit more positively or fully about. Um, and uh, contact me on Twitter, at IndiePD. Um, and check out IndieGamesTripleA.com, where we have much better content than what you're watching right now. So... You know, go enjoy Joe's Let's Plays or his Let's Tries. Enjoy our podcast, please. And uh, check back next week for a much more eventful indie taste test. Thanks for watching, guys.